one. Hey, everybody. We're 245 Neil and our so wonderful podcast right now. And we're coming to you, you know, in both in Kentucky as well as Vermont. Got our guests on the show. But before we talk to our guests, you know, we're, um, we'll make some announcements. Um, so, um, Candace, do you have any announcements you want to make right now about anything? Um, the only thing I want to announce is that our current contest is still open until July 31st. It is free and the theme is love. So, so far we have great participation participation but we're looking forward to seeing even more so that's the only thing i want to announce yeah as far as um that goes mm -hmm. so talk about it a little bit what's so we got a poetry pioneer and our so one for um there's a book out right you wrote a book yeah and so absolutely. we're gonna talk about that for a few minutes right right now and um and the contest is about um is it is it love no it's not the <laughs> yeah the theme's love so anything about love just just <laughs> we want to promote love in the world so that's why we're trying to get people excited about it. no doubt about it yeah so so there's love and then so what's the contest about what do people need to do to uh... um, people can go on the website www.poetrypioneer.com and they submit i believe it's a google form and you just upload a document it should be pretty simple uh and then once you submit it, we'll review them all and announce the winner sometime in August. And the winner will get to be the guest on our next podcast. And so we're hoping to just keep doing what we're doing. And um, so far, like I said, we've got several countries, people from several countries that's yeah. entered ready. So it's super yeah. exciting. Yeah. So so how many people have registered already, if you want to? <laughs> um, I think I looked this morning and we had 110 submissions. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hundred people risk. Oh my God, that's a lot. Yeah, and I think right now we've got four or five countries that have entered. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. That's so nice. And um, if anybody, what's, let's talk about your book right quick. Yeah. Go ahead. So the title is "The New World Light" and it's poetic affirmations to create heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. And so I think I've talked about it a little bit before. I wrote affirmations for sixty days and then put them in the book. And so the whole point is, is that science has shown and we all hopefully will learn if we don't know already that the intention of your day sets your whole life. So if you wake up and you got a bad mind, you have a few minutes that you can reset it with the affirmation. And so that's kind of the whole point of the book is for people to go along the journey with me in the 60 days and write their own affirmations too. Nice. So hopefully at the end of it, you will at least notice a change in your mindset and how you think and know how to change your negative thoughts into positive ones. Nice. And also, um, it's kind of like we, we like for them kind of use it as like a like a workbook type of deal, you know what I mean? Like a yeah. things that they can use um to guide them through their day or week or whatever and share with their parents and friends and and kids, you know, youth and um share with yeah. them too as well. So thank you so much. So um I think um so um so August 3rd, we got our poetry pioneer and I so wonderful have uh we got a big mural thing that we're doing in um Burlington, Vermont, and it's um like the wall is like we measured that over 100 feet. Again, <laughs> that's it's a big wall. And so people from the community is gonna come out and put a mural on this wall, and it's interactive, and it's gonna be like a paint by number. So anybody can come up and paint, and then we're gonna have our cable show out there. We'll have um all the news network out there to you know kind of interview people and talk about what it is. So it's August third from 11 to six in Burlington, Vermont. So that's gonna be a good thing. So now um. Let's introduce our guest, Mason. Slide over a little bit, Candace. Candace, slide over in the shot a little bit. No. All the way, all the way, all the way. You, Candace, okay. yeah, toward, in the camera. Get in the camera more. Yeah. Um. So, so we got a guest today. Mason was a little nervous. Mason, you see me? I make mistakes. I've been making mistakes since I've been on the show. You know what? Whatever. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's talented. Whatever. It's okay. We make. Oh. Can I get a Mason's role? Can I get a? Can I, can I get a, uh, uh, what's, what's that, what you got? Is that a hoodie or something? What you got on, Mason? What you have? What? Yes, we got house code. Can I get a house code with my name on it, bro? Dang. <laughs> How'd you get that one? My grandma bought it. I call it Rolo. Nice, 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 nice. I appreciate that. So, Mason, wow. So, I heard some things about you, you know, you awesome young man and do a lot of things and so what what's what uh, how old are you i'm 10 so you're 10 years old and then what grade is 10 years old put you in i mean fourth grade fourth grade wow man boy 
My fourth grade teacher's name was Miss Taylor. I'm from Chicago. I remember her because she was so nice. My fifth grade teacher's name was Miss Esther. She wasn't so nice. When you do bad, she's like, hold out your hand. You hold out your hand. She hits you in the hand with a ruler. <laughs> Back in the day. So, um, so uh, Mason, so what do you do? What's your, what have you been doing? What do you do in your life? What kind of fun you have? Or what's your activities? Well, I, I play football. I'm a gamer. And I have my own YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I have three of them. Wow, you're a big deal, bro. That's good. So, what do you, what do you talk about on your shows? You say you are, you got YouTube, YouTube. Well, how does that work? Is that a cable show? Or what is what? Is, what do you do on your show? Like, uh, like where you watch like YouTube videos on. Like, I have my own channel where I can post content. Nice. What do you say? What's some of the things you say on your on your contents? What's your contents? What are some of the things you say or post? I upload shorts. I tell my fans thank you for all the support, and I just try to I just try to make videos for my fans. <laughs> that's nice. You know that's what that's what uh, your mother do all the time. She tried to um, you know you must have got you you to chip off the old block as they say. Your mother, all her poetry and her poems and affirmations and and um, who she is is like trying to make people's lives better. You know help them uh, understand um, about you know what we need to do in life to to um, like she's like her goal is to have like heaven on earth, right? And the way you're gonna do that is that you gotta be kind to people. You have to. You know, trust one another. You got to share things like affirmations or poetry or um, biblical stuff, you know, like um, scriptures. And um, then involved in some of the uh, positive things like you do, like um, uh, your YouTuber thing and your um, um, football, right? That, it's all good kids there, right? What position you play? Quarterback. Well, damn. Yo, you, I love EL. You got the bomb? Can you throw the bomb? Yeah. Oh, man. That's, you got a nice tight spiral? What you got? What kind of? You got a tight spiral? You can throw like 54 yards. Wow, that's a long ways. Long ways. So you know how to scramble in the backfield? Yeah. What's, what you, you think you're real good at that? Are you good? Yeah. The bomb, 50-something yards, that's a long range. And that's half the football field, over half the football field. Yeah. Wow. So like, so it's like the way up, it's like a tight spiral up and down, right? Yeah. Up, I like to catch one of your passes, man. I can throw a dot and I can throw a ball with some air below it. Wow. That's nice. So how's your passing skills? Like, you know, your uh, handoff skills? They're, they're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um... So you got good tight ends and receivers? Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of, you know, used, back in the day, people would use the tight ends, right? Probably still today, to run for the first down, right? The 10 yards, right? So you pass, you, you hit them with like a pass, or I mean, you throw a pass to them, and then you get the first down, right? And usually. And a lot of times, they don't even use the tight end like they used to. I don't know why. Do you use your tight ends? Do you use your tight ends? Do you use your tight ends? Like, you know, do you throw the ball to them or do you hand it off to more a fullback or halfback? I mainly throw it. Oh, you throw it. So you throw it to your wide receiver. A lot of the times I have to run it. Oh. You other, run. Uh, other teams are always rushing. Oh, uh, they try to rush you. Yeah, they try to rush it. And so, um, like, I used to play defensive end in, in, in high school. So I know, you know, we I love I love to get the quarterback. You know, defensive ends. But they always have trick plays. They got somebody to try to block me because – because you know they don't want me to get to the quarterback. So so you scramble in the backfield, you know, you don't see nobody, and you gotta run. You run the ball up the hole, right? You have to run sometimes. Yeah. You're fast running? Yeah, I'm a really fast runner. And you know how to get through the holes, you know how to you know how to you ever made a touchdown? Yeah. How many? I've had uh I don't know. I've had a couple. That's good. That's good enough, right? Yeah, that's huh? Way more than that. Mm -hmm. That's because you're running it. That's because you're running the ball? Because you ran? Because your quarterback sneak or whatever? You ever did a quarterback sneak? Yeah. So like a couple yards for a first for a first down or something? That's, that's yeah. a play, right? Quarterback sneak? Yeah, it is. 
I love football. So I love to see what's the name of your team? The Packers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I saw your mother with a shirt on before like the pack. I was like, you know what I told you? I said, man, it's uh, Kansas. I'm from Chicago. I said, I'm going to get you a Bears damn gear. She's like, no, it's my son's team. <laughs> I was on Packers in, in tackle and flag. Nice, nice. But I'm playing tackle now. Oh, wow. How do you like that? It's good. It's fun. Uh, that's kind of that's a little different from quarterback, I think, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they should. I don't know if you should play tackle as a quarterback. But you know, it's a good experience, right? Have you ever played um tight end or defensive end or fullback or halfback? I want to be wide receiver. Mm hmm. Somebody can throw the bomb to you. That'd be nice, man. I really like being quarterback. You don't. No, I mean it's fun. But like I want to be a wide receiver. I know those. That's nice. A wide receiver's job, boy. Run for the bomb. Sometimes they cut. They run. You think they're going for the bomb, and they they start from the corners, right? And they run like they're going for the bomb, and then that's when they cut in. They cut in the middle for like a quick hit, right? For like ten yards, right? That's a good. That's a nice play for a wide receiver. You think you're going out for the bomb, but they, you know, people be like, he's going for the bomb, and then they go like 10, 15 yards and cut cut to the middle. Bam! Hit him right there, man. First down. I like that play. Yeah, so why we see this job? They do special things. You gotta, you gotta shake them though, right? At the yeah. start, right at the start, right at the line, you gotta shake them, right? Shake the, shake the guy. Boom. So what else you do, Mason? What other, what other, what other I, type? I post my own content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so, what do you say? You know, you should think that um, you think your support, your supporters. But what, what, what do they support? What do you say to them? I just post videos for them and they like it. Like I make, I make, I mainly try to make funny videos to make people laugh. Oh wow! If yeah. somebody out there might be sad, and if they watch my video, they they'll start smiling and they'll subscribe. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, just some love like that, but that's <laughs> nice, man. Wow, you know, God, Mason, you know, you you doing you doing like God's work, you know. You know that? Did you, have you ever looked at it like that? You know, like you're doing the work that God wants us to do. You know what I mean? Like, our power wants us to work with people, help them, make them laugh and smile. Like, I have all these, you know, me and we have these murals that we do everywhere. And they, and they own like electrical boxes. And it's like, so people can look at these electrical boxes and smile and say, look, that's a cool thing, you know, and share with others. And so we try to share what's good with people everywhere we go in life, right? And so that's what you're doing, right? You think you're doing that? Yeah, I know you are. So, um, wow, that's good, man. So, so you got a, you got your own little YouTube thing. You know, you're a football player. You know, so what else you do? So, so you you're in tenth grade. I mean, you were you teens are in fourth grade. So, what else you do? I have my own job. No, you don't. Nice, nice. I know. Uh, you know, you know, you know, mom was telling me some time ago, like, sound like, what's going on? She's like, oh, maybe she's not there cutting grass or something, you know? And yeah, that I do something like more than that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll play piano for uh, <gasps> Portland Hills community. It's for the elderly. Oh, man. It's for the elderly people. Mm -hmm. That's so nice, right? You know why? You pay me a hundred bucks for 30 minutes for three oh, minutes. Whoa! Whoa! Damn, well, I don't know if we can afford him um, candies on our stuff. 100 bucks. Hey, you know, 100 bucks, we gave him some uh, prize winner. 100, was it fun? I don't know how much it was. For winning a poetry contest in uh, India, I think it was. And they, that what was 150. I don't know how much it was. How much was it? 50. And, yeah. and they were almost being the feed the whole in, India. They said that $50 was like like crazy amount of money, like rich money almost. $50 US dollars. And you said it was like Rubik's? Uh, what's that? Yeah, what's Ruby. That? I think Indian rubies is what they said. I don't remember. hundred. Yeah. Man, they, so, they, so they was able to feed a lot of people with $50. So we was happy to do that. And you're going to pay $100 for 30 minutes. But you know what? You worth every bit of it. What's up? What do you want to say? Go ahead and say it. What do you say? My mom was, uh, wanted me to tell you about uh, my other thing. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's hear it. So, so wait a minute. Let's start to move past the piano right quick. So, what do you play? What kind of music do you play? I play uh, 
Name of this song. Like classical or jazz or R and B or funk. I play classical. I play uh, yeah, uh like a Beethoven and all those people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. He free plays a lot too. He really likes to just go in there and let the music kind of flow. He'll just play for hours. Yeah, yeah. I love him play one day. You know what? Mason, I used to play saxophone when I was in high school. And um, I don't know if I can play it anymore. I'm, you know, I always want to. But I always wanted to play guitar and, and um, piano. So they say that piano and guitar have the same type of notes. You know, do you know how to play guitar? Have you tried? No, I know how to play uh, I know how to play a, a clarinet. Wow. Woodwind. A woodwind instrument. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Clarinets not say sound so good, don't they? Yeah, I also know how to play the drums. <laughs> wow. I can read music on both of those instruments. Nice. Yeah, man. So the drums is you know carry a nice beat, and that's good, right? And yeah. clarinet's got that sound to it, man. You can play a clarinet without anything. Like you can play a clarinet like a flute, and like no, it's different. But I mean, like a flute, you can play a flute, clarinet by themselves. You know, like a violin, you can just actually just play and. And have a good and piano, man. I could dang. I wish I could play the piano. Maybe in one day I you can give me a few pointers on how to do it, you know. But piano's a nice so you so so you so you play piano, flute, I mean a clarinet. So um so you gotta keep that reed wet, right? From the clarinet, you gotta keep the reed wet. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm That's cool. You like you got you so far you just all balled up to an incredible person, you know. And so what else you do? I uh, that's pretty much all I do. Hmm. Yeah, your mother told me that uh, you was a black belt in karate. Yeah. And how good is that? That's nice. I think what I said. I think I made it up to no farther than like green belt or something. You know that. It's nice, but they forced me to do it. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like you don't like it? No. You don't like karate? Well, you got to be a black belt. But you know what? You know what? Good thing about karate, and one thing I learned about it is that. You know, you, you get to learn like um uh you know you learn how to do stance, you know, like your stance, you get you know how to be um more physical. Um it's a therapy in the mind, you know, you can um it's a concentration on this life stuff. Karate has a lot to do with how we operate in this world. And it's not all about fighting and defending yourself, it's about the discipline, right? Yeah. You're not worried about I know you're probably your cardio your instructor probably saying, like, yo, it's, it's all about discipline. When you break this board. You have to have some discipline. You just can't break a board just because you think you can break a board. I mean, people say, I can break a damn board. <laughs> they can't break nothing. But I bet you can break a board. Yeah. I know you can. I bet you can. And so, go ahead. I've been doing karate for uh, seven and a half years. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. What's good about it? What's good about karate? Really nothing. <laughs> you got something good about it. You're a black belt, man. Damn. Right? Yeah. Are you a black belt? Yeah. So what's good about being a black belt? How about that? I get a pretty much kind of leave the class. Mm -hmm. Like I'm always in the front row pretty much. That's nice, right? That's good, right? Yeah. And um, do you have any awards? Yeah. Certificates and awards? Or maybe yeah, trophies? I have like over 50 medals. And I have like two <laughs> trophies. Yeah, what else? I have two trophies for football, and I have like four or five from karate. Yeah. Bro, that's nice. So that's something about karate. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's think. Let's think. Um, the discipline that you have learned, you know, for yourself, it's not about discipline about nobody else. Karate is who you are, right? It's not, even though you might learn certain um, katas and all the different things you might learn about karate, you know, how to throw a nice seeking. But, but the thing about it is you have to, it's all about yourself and your creativity, how you use it, right? How you use your hands and how you move, you know, how you move. It's like, you know, when you see a person, when you, when you see a person that you might have to have a, you know, um, what is it, a challenge with, you know, like a, um, what do you call it, Kaysen? I mean, um, Candace, um, when you have um, uh, like match, uh, matches right. with, 
Matches. Matches. Um, you first of all, you know, you you have to figure out, right? I mean, you, you correct me because you're a black belt. You 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 have to figure out um, what's their style, right? And uh, name of the game is like take them down, get out, get whatever as fast you can, right? Take them out the pitch as fast you can. So you got to learn that person. You got to say, okay, he threw this, he threw his right hand. He he tried to come out with a, a, a roundhouse kick or something. He tried to do a straight kick, or he tried to flip me. You know, so you got to figure out what you need to do, right, Mason? Yeah. So you don't get to be a black belt without without not figuring that out. That's for sure. So, um, huh? Go ahead. In my entire career, I've made seven people cry. <laughs> I've made one nosebleed. Oh, wow. Was that a straight kick or a hit? Oh, it was just a punch. A punch. Mm -hmm. And what? And so, was it like a straight punch? No, it was a hook punch. Oh. Who did you hit him at? Or where you hit the person? Where? Oh, Where the oh, right there on the, on the nose. Wow. Yeah. It's can be painful to get hit right there on your nose, you know. And, but, you know, that was a good shot with a with um, hook shot, with a hook hitting right there. Really? I a warning not to be so rough. Oh, yeah? Um, well, you're trying to win, right? Yeah. Okay. You're trying to really kill nobody. You just want to win. And name the game is like you gotta take them out like fast as you can. You know, that'd be good. So and you want you know if you keep tapping somebody, then you're gonna be fighting forever. And take them out the game, man. You know the best way you can. So um, Mason, um, so you out of school, right? When school start back? August. Oh, coming up next month. What is it, like August mid month, fifth, seventeenth, end of month? You don't know. You don't know. So then you'll be in um fifth grade. What grade are you gonna be in? Fourth what grade are you gonna be in when you go back? I'm gonna be in fourth. Right. So that's um you so you go to an elementary school. Right? Now what what grades in your school? Uh it goes one through eight. Oh wow, middle school. Wow. It's wow. a Catholic school and it's huh. private. Mm -hmm. I went to a private high school in downtown, but when uh, it wasn't Catholic, you know, when I was in Chicago, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, huh? I've always gone to private school for my whole mm -hmm. life. You like that? Yeah. What do you like about it? it means I'm rich. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's 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 what it, in theory, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it. Yeah, I know. Um, I, yeah, it seems like you know it make you seem like you are, but you know, do you like you have a Catholic services, right? Yeah. So what do they do? You guys pray at a certain time of day. How that work? Every Friday, uh, every Friday, uh, the whole school goes to church. Mm. And the church, the cathedral, is right there on campus. There, right. Yeah, my school has its own church. Oh. And the high school is on the same grounds with the with the um middle middle school. Yeah. Mm hmm. Huh. You going to the high school too? You want to go there, or you want to go to some public school? Probably going to go to the other school. You want to go? To, yeah, public school. Yeah. Yeah. So how many people there who looks like a person of color? How many people people of color looks like you in your school? Not really a lot. Mm hmm. So I live in Vermont, and Vermont is the second whitest state in America. Can you imagine me in in a school or where I go, and there's a number of white people with no people that look like me? You know, that's how it is in Vermont. And it's kind of cool. There's mainly white people. Yeah, it feels kind of weird a little bit now being a person of color, right? It kind of feel kind of weird a little bit, you know. And same with me, it feel kind of weird sometimes. But I've been there so long and. And that, you know, like I'm a commissioner for the state of Vermont. I'm a commissioner for the state of Vermont, human rights commissioner. I'm a commissioner for um, uh, for, um for some other boards, uh, Kennedy County Regional Planning Commission. I'm a commissioner for Green Mountain, um, Green Mountain Train. You know, I do a lot of stuff. I sell a lot of boards and commissions. And so a lot of people know me, you know. And uh, But still, you know, there'll be around a lot of people who don't look like, you know, personal color, people who don't look like you and I. It looks kind of, it feels kind of weird. So how, how does that make you feel? When you was all around white people, not no people who look like you, would that how that make you feel? 
That makes me feel like I don't fit in unless I have a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's what, um, that's what it's, yeah, yeah, because, yep, yeah, I don't agree with you, you know, you feel like you don't fit in because, you know, their cultures and differences are different from yours, I mean. And they, and they look different from you. And so, but you fit in because that's why you were, you were there in divine order. And that's how you got to be in those schools because God needed you there to be in those schools around those individuals who don't look like you. He needs you to show your face so they can say, wow, and look at you and learn from you and like you. Here we want to hear a funny story in Mason. Can I tell you a funny story right quick? Snake's coming short. Mason. Look at me. Can I tell you a funny story? So I was walking downtown one year, and um, and like you know, like I say, Vermont is like it used to be the first white state in America before I got here, and now it's the second. So I'm walking down the street, and this little white girl, she's a little girl, a little cool little girl, white girl. She's like I don't know, two years old, almost two years old. She walked up to me. She was with her mother, and her mother let her hand go. So she girl, the little girl smiled. She walked up to me. You know what she's trying to do? She 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 she's she's trying to wipe the black off my hand. She thought she thought that color came off me. She was just, she was looking at me. She was wiping it, wiping. It. She thought she could wipe the black off my hand. I said, no, no, no. The black don't come off. I said, that's my color. I it don't come off. And her mother say, I'll forget the little girl's name. But her mother say, Sarah, don't do that. Don't. I said, no, let her do it. Let her let her try to wipe the black. You know, let her know that there are people who were, people of color. There's not just white people. You know what I'm saying? And that little girl walked all the way down the street, looking back at me, smiling and waving. I was waving at her all the way. I was waving at her all the way up the street to this. One of the, one of the best moments I'm going to have for the rest of my life. That little girl, and since she was, came over to check out, see if she can, why was I darker than her? You know what I'm saying? You know that cool? You know that cool story? Mason? Yeah, that was a funny story. Yeah, I know. You, you, what would have you have done? What would you have done if somebody... A little white girl walk up and you and try to wipe the color off your skin, thinking that you, what would you have done? Would you let her do it? What? Would you have let the little girl wipe the try to wipe the color off your hand, your color? Would you have let her do that? No. You wouldn't. Why not? I don't Why? want her touching me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There you go, Mason. I ain't gonna tell you about that touching you far, but uh, you're right. Yeah, but sometimes it's just not appropriate. You know, sometimes it's, it's so not nobody touching you, you know? Sometimes you just who based on who you are and things you do in the world, you just can't it can't happen. But but um, you know, but as you get older, you'll you know, you'll get better. So what else? Well, tell me something good, because we got a little time left. What's good, Mason? What's going on today? What are you doing? What do you got going? Got any plans for the day? Yeah. What? I'm gonna post more YouTube videos. Right. Can I come on your show? I'll have a show. I okay. have five subscribers. Mm -hmm. Can you come? Can you please help help us on this show? Can you help us on our cable show and our podcast? Sometimes you know, you know what we really want, and me too. I, I'm a I'm a what they call a youth service provider, so I work with all the different youth around the state as well. And so we always need a youth perspective. So I used to kind of give us ideas and suggestions on what you think, what you th think about the world and, you know, current events and how can we get better in this place. And so it was always nice to have a person like you around to kind of tell us, can you leave us with some good, something we should be doing, the world? Leave us something, like say something that with the world we should be doing. Do you write, do you write poetry? What do you think? What do you want to tell the world? Like an advice about how to make it better. I want them to subscribe to me. Well, besides that, we know you want to just subscribe, but besides that, what is Scratch it? Is you talking? <laughs> yeah, he's worried about getting his dream. Hey. Apparently, he's dreaming to be a famous YouTuber. So, you got to buy it. They make a lot of money. So, so what's your subscribe? How can I get? Well, I don't know if I want to. You're 10 years old, so we're not going to say what it is. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. But um, what can you say out your words out of your mouth other than subscribe to your show? What can you say to help people, hopefully that people will be like um, better in this world? I just want to say when you're feeling bad, look mm. up to the light just and stay in it. Because don't let the devil take you over. Because God is more powerful than anything and he always will be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.
Thank you very much. No Thank you. Wow. I really appreciate it. That's very powerful. From a young, young perspective, and it's right. Your mother and I, we say that to each other all the time. Look into the light. You know, how bright the brightest light. Stay in the light so you can um, stay on divine uh, order. You can um, be in the, um, the right path in life. We say that all day long. No doubt about it. So um, thank you for sharing that. You are 10 years old sharing that. So, so can you, will you be a guest? On, will you come back on our show and help us co op We got a cable show, too, and help us co-host some of our cable shows and podcasts. Will you do that for us, please? No? You don't want to do it no more? You don't want to do more shows? I don't want to show my face. Huh? I don't want to show my face. Your face won't be shown on this one. Oh, yeah. This podcast. But on, um, on, um, on our cable show, we'll be so... So you can do our, you can do this this show here. You, I see you, you see me, but it yeah. won't be shown when we when the show come out. Nobody nobody's face be shown. This will only think that what we said. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So well, go ahead, Candice. Let's close out. Say something. What we got? Um, so he doesn't. I wrote a poem to him, and you were talking oh. about um, yeah skin color and different things like that and so this is back in 2021 but i wrote him a poem and i'm just going to read that because i feel like yeah. it kind of goes with our yeah, theme you, you got the shot you got to move over a little bit come oh, over sorry. so you can we can see you um well, i can see you yeah right? anyway yeah. i'll read it real fast it's called right. to my mix son i know you don't understand because you're so small but because mommy and daddy are different skin colors than you i know you question it all you tell me you wash your skin to make it lighter because you can't tell your knees are clean or dirty when you fall. You tell me you want to be lighter because others look at you and say things you don't ever recall. Mm -hmm. And no matter how much you try to see, try others seem to just make you feel different and small. So listen to me, my mixed child. That is perfect. You are perfect to me no matter what category you may be called. No matter what anyone says or do to make you feel like you are different and names they may choose you to call look at them and smile with kindness and say i i hate you don't like my skin color we are so different mm. hold on sorry i hate you don't like my skin color we are all different so because of this i'm the best color you have ever saw mm. to my mix son i hope when you look back and you're grown that you love equity diversity mm. inclusion is all the memory i hope you recall no if doubt. you ever encounter someone that judges you by your color, then smile and you just feel pitied for them as they were never taught, as I taught you, to never hate, but to love all. Wow, oh, that's a nice point that you, that you wrote about your son. What do you say, Mason? If someone makes fun of my skin color, I'm calling them racist. That's right. That's what I sit on the I sit on the state Vermont Human Rights Commissioner. I'm a commissioner for the state of Vermont, and so that's what we we address all those type of things, right? Uh, racism and all kind of things like what you're saying. These days are racist. Hmm? Well, you know, better, I think. well, you know what, you know what, Mason. A lot of people was racist before I was born, before when I was your age. So it had really it's changed a lot. Like it almost got better, but it's not not enough. And like. At your perspective, at your age, you see things look differently than I did when I was your age. So, you know, it's, I don't, I don't, I think people just not going to get it all through their head yet because, you know, it, we so many different colors. But as you, as a person of color, you need to let them know. Instead, don't be like, don't say you're a racist to say, let's get along, let's figure out, find ways. And like you said, shine the light on them, shine the light down on people and pray that they do, you know what I'm saying? That person is going to get better in life, right? They're not going to be this way all their lives. And you make sure you are not. You know what I mean? Just make sure you just do the right thing. Be, be, be responsible. Be a good young man like you are. What do you say? He wants to say it. Say it, Mason. Come here. What do you want to say? No, I want to say nothing. Okay. Uh, you okay? You okay? Thank you. I want to thank you, Mason. You can close your... Um, Candace, but Mason, I want to personally thank you for coming on this show and, you know, talk about, you know, the things you do in life and how nice, how good things you are. And I'm, I really appreciate you doing this. And on our podcast, where you don't have to show your face, you, you see each other now, but when the show come out, your mother's side, when the show get edited and they, they're ready for it to, 
your mother will show it to you and you won't and you won't see no you won't see us like you see us now you just see and hopefully you'll be back on our podcast today because i i really need your perspective as a young man to tell us about how we adults should look at young people what do you say i didn't hear no look at him <laughs> it's got that stern look that's good though i like that look man it's like you know it's like you know that's a good look bro Good luck with you. Yeah, smile sometimes, right? So, uh, close it out, uh, Candace. All right. Well, I hope everyone has enjoyed the show today. I, we decided to bring Mason on here because we feel like the world, we're all just caught up in, you know, all the adult problems. And I feel like he just brings a different perspective. And let's be honest, the title of this episode was Family Matters because everything that i do and i feel like we all do at some point either was taught to us from our family or we're trying to do for our family and so i think right now the world needs family more than ever because we are divided and i hope if anything you gain that even mason at his young age knows that there's good in this world and we all need to remember that and not focus on the bad and mm -hmm. so i hope that you will find his channel and subscribe to him can you do you know the name of it or do we not want to release that because he's no i probably won't not don't let him do it let him do it let him do it on his own okay yeah well i'm gonna say to my good friend and business partner candace well tomorrow is your happy birthday thank you Yay. for the world send um candace march a happy birthday everybody go to our instagram or facebook and say hello and happy birthday to her so all right have a good day ma'am and um thank you again for coming to the show bro peace peace out peace right. bye